what is up youtubers so I'm in the garage I got the N54 what am I saying I mean I got the 335 here behind me and if you guys noticed I removed the old transmission because I'm making way for my setup what I have over here on the floor I'm going to use this transmission and the motor and marriage them together and then the plan is to put the whole entire powertrain inside in one shot. So the engine bay is pretty much prepped. And um, I'm going to replace this motor mount. And then the plan for today is to bolt the transmission to the motor. And that way, the next time we come back in the garage, we should be able to drop the motor in. Okay, so here we have the trans and the motor getting ready to uh, marriage these two together. We got new hardware right here. We already put the throw out bearing in, spline grease. So just got to bolt it together. Pretty much that's it for today. I went ahead and I bolted the transmission It's pretty straightforward but um as you guys know they have some Torx uh, bolts surrounding the bell housing so it looks like BMW has steel bolts and they have these aluminum bolts so depending on which kind of bolts you get you need a different torque procedure and for me right here I have this transmission and general tightening Torx from new TIS info and as you can see they list the different sizes different types of transmissions so if you look in this category right over here you see it has these uh, torque to yield specs that's for the aluminum bolts but you see steel screws M12 and M8 um, 66 and 19 Newton meters so that's what I used um, you can tell if the bolts are steel or not by using a magnet but there's a significant weight difference so you got this size and then you have um, this size over here which is smaller then you got a bolt for the starter which is a different size but the starter doesn't really count on that sheet so I mocked up the engine here I got like this tripod set up I'm gonna try to balance the engine down in there the transmission and everything in one shot so got this tow hook right here and I got the engine strapped with the seat belt and then on the back side of things Let's see, I have it strapped around the, the engine mount and then I looped the transmission right here and then I joined it right here. I'm gonna double check all these because I don't want this to get loose. I'm probably gonna tighten this one up. And then as far as the engine bay prep, what I did was zip tied this guy uh, made sure there's a clear pathway. I installed this mount um, before and this one is not installed because once the motor goes down in there I'm gonna have to put on this bracket because that's the way I took it out and the other mount is attached over there and I use some zip ties to hold this stuff together so I don't have too much interference when I'm landing the, the motor inside the bay. And probably gonna have to play with that bracket with the exhaust. I'm trying to like do this without dropping the exhaust. So um, if we walk around to the back, I got the drive shaft bolts right here. So I'm gonna take these out and set them aside. Okay guys, got the motor mount out. Gonna put the new one in. 
I have to loosen this reinforcement right here to get one of the bolts out. This is what the bolts look like right here. So I'm going to drop the new motor mount in place. It goes like this. Something like that in there. Let me put the camera down, I'll fix it. Okay guys, so we're going to torque the motor mount to 28 newton meters. right under there see the mount right there that's where we're going to be torquing the two bolts on the bottom that's one crap go yeah. live and we got a clear the subframe right now is kind of this lift is old and kind of sketchy so you see the feet over here like one is short and one is long is like stuck like that damn but you got to do what you got to do you know what i mean honestly you should have put it here nah because then the weight shifted back right now it's good because it's balanced yeah but how you gonna get it to tilt when you try i can it? just move it uh we gonna see Cause it would all give it a tilt. Yo, right but here. let's go closer, Floyd. Help me push it closer. Yo, move the board. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See what I mean? Uh, move your yeah. foot. Yo, don't. One person in the back. I need somebody in the front. Control the weight of the motor. Your hands on the motor. I'm just trying to. All right, go. Go down, down, down. More. All right. Quick, 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 quick. Shit. More down, nigga. More down. Right now, they're trying to get. To All right. Oh. Arriba, arriba, arriba. We can tilt the motor to go in because they still have the hands attached. So we're trying to get it to go in on a nice tilt so that we can slide it right in. Now we got to back this hole up. Back that ass up. That. Listen to me, bro. I'll fix diesel. You dig? A lot of critical thinking. Wait, it's
Okay, YouTubers, the motor is in position. So right now, the next step is to position this motor mount bracket right here. So I'm gonna jack the motor up, take some of the weight off, and try to push the motor that way. So that way we can line up this motor mount bracket on this side.